hi welcome back as i promised i am going to upload now um the face massage video um if you don't know what you would need um to participate with me um there is a video um i think under body um get ready for your massage and you will need what you need so i'm not going to talk but i am going to show as i said um First we need to cleanse our face, make sure you don't have any makeup on and take out your piercings, earrings, rings I am going to use um, oil, coconut oil, for the first part. Um, coconut oil is great for your skin. This is edible, so you could even cook with it. So I suppose I don't have to say that um, our hands are clean too. And then we're just going to apply all over and down the next. Now you could start with your massage by massaging down and to the shoulder like that obviously i'm not gonna do it because i'm wearing a top but just like so down and like this down like this and then the other down like this And we are going to start from top to bottom. First, we are going to massage or press our marma points. And then usually I press here, there is a little dip. You put your two finger just like this and one here or two. And you press simultaneously. Yeah, as you can see, quite hard. Then you can massage like this or just like this. And we start with our forehead. Circular motions, pulling up and hold. You're going around. You don't need to rush. All the way to this area. And again, and hold. You hold it because you kind of stretching your skin out a bit. And then you'll see how it's gonna make you feel in this area. So you always massage and then hold 
and pull a bit. So you could do this as many times as you want. If you have wrinkles, vertical or horizontal. So if you have horizontal, you could open up the wrinkle and massage and then pull. Open, massage and pull all the way. Same with the vertical. Open, massage, then pull like this. So wherever it is, massage and pull. I keep pressing the marma points because they are great. Also, they help you to be less wrinkle free. And you're gonna feel quiet rejuvenated and after we're gonna do our eyebrows this is pinch and pull again pinch pull pull Or you could do with one hand, pinch, pull, pinch, and pull. Not exactly pull, rather smooth it out, just like that. And this bit. Once you're done with that, again, marma points. So, if you have an eyelid, they call it monolid, but let's be honest, quite soggy already. What you could do, because you do it for yourself, right? You can make sure that you are not creating extra wrinkles. You pull up this eyebrow just like this, hold and massage. And in the end, you kind of flick it up. And then either you work the skin kind of under your other finger or just flick it. Make sure that the pull is quite strong here so you're not just holding your hand here like that but you're actually pulling it up a bit. It doesn't have to hurt. You just have to try for yourself and like practice. Then we're going to the other side again, pull it up and in, flick and work it in. Once you've done this. Then we're gonna really move and do our eye. So there is a point here, you press here, you move your fingers around to this marma point, you press and then under gently, but make sure you're pressing here and here and press smooth and press 
and you'll find your own rhythm with it. There is no need to rush. Once you've done this, then purposefully we're gonna work under the eye and the eye bags and this area. This is usually quite prone to wrinkle, so it's just the same. We just massage it upwards. Please do use some oil or cream because we don't want to create extra wrinkles because the whole idea is to be kind of wrinkle free if we can. We want to tone our face, we want to tone and smooth our face. So yeah, once we've done this. Again, I'm pressing the marma points. These are releasing toxins and also they believe that massaging clockwise or anti-clockwise around the points, yeah, because these are energy points in the body, they're gonna release the toxins and they're gonna make you feel better and you're gonna look much better so yeah and now we're gonna move towards the cheekbones and this area again we are always massaging upwards here and down the neck so here this is the lymphatic line that helps releasing the toxins a massage like this if you have puffy cheeks then don't worry just with a fair amount of pressure start to massage and push the skin and the muscles I find this really beneficial, especially if you are about to lose weight because by toning our body and our skin, that's all good, but usually we forget about our face. So you could have a really great and masculine body after you lost weight, but it doesn't do any judgment to your face. Okay, so that's about it. And then, massage mouth. We have these lines here, and this obviously. Just like that. And that's why I use some natural oil if you can so obviously it's going to go into your mouth but it's no problem and after that I'm gonna push up and then to the side and down to the neck so can really feel the muscles and the tissue moving. After this, 
can press the marma point and then the nose usually here is a dry patch for some reason so get in there and massage like that so around and up in the hand up and up all righty next one is gonna be so we have this love lines here most of the time you could either massage it up like that and move up so there are two ways, either working on this one or the jawline area. So let's start with the jawline actually. We're gonna go from here all the way up here, pull and push. So you see, I'm kind of pressing the skin like that. And then I hold here with the other hand, I go around the ear and down the neck. And then I pull, see? Not hard, but you have to hold and pull. And push and hold. Push and hold. Then the other area again, push and hold. Here we hold it, go around and the neck. Well, you must appreciate that when you do massage for yourself, obviously, there are a limited ways how you can work your fingers. So if I were to do this on someone else, there would be a different way of doing this, but for us, for the purpose is just the same and you should learn it if you can why not and then we do both sides push it up behind the ear and down I do it fast but you don't have to So as I said, uh, most people would have the uh, lines here already forming or they are static already, which means you are laughing a lot, which is good. I have here some lines that's from smoking, I suppose, or even like the way we speak, because uh, to form English words, you have to like use your mouth differently than if you would like speak another language if you are not like a the Russian is not your first language anyhow it doesn't matter why it's there so then you could pull it go around and again just pull massage it out and then down
the rule is if there is such thing that you work with one hand and you kind of support anchor the other hand while you kind of smoothen your skin out and then you work it down to the lymphatic system to the neck on this side see how much skin it picks up and down the neck So that would be the first part with the oils and then we're gonna wash this oil down now um, as I said I have some uh, hot water here and I put a uh, chamomile tea inside and I am using that you can wash it down with anything again you are doing this in your own home so you use whatever you wish to use this is just my preference And now we are going to massage our ears. That's part of the head massage, but let's do it now. So you just go and massage with circular motion both ears or here. That's also really beneficial. If you have piercings there, you either take it out or you have to work with it, as I do because I have some. And that's it, that's the end of our ears. Now we are gonna use our water-based cream and as I said, I have a vitamin E oil on the top of that. But there is no need, I'm just being fancy now. So, water-based cream. Be quite generous. I promise it's all going to disappear. And creating a vacuum your hands start to do this no we are not slapping ourselves we are creating a vacuum that also helps helps the skin to tone and after this we are going to start from the neck working up just like that see if you can stretch your neck out and work it get into this crease here because when our jawline start to sag we're gonna end up with this turtleneck so we have to work on that. When I'm doing this for for someone else, um, I'm doing like this, but it's almost impossible to do it for yourself. So that's why. Let's be gentle and just go like that. And after we're going to massage the jawline with 
quick movements of pinching again and then make a hook just like this and then pull it sideways so I will pinch I'm not counting this, so you do as many times as you feel it. Lit. Let's do it at least two more times now. And that's it. And then... Massage the mouth. Again, I'm usually massaging like an eight and then I would pull it down you could pull it either down or if you pull it down make sure you always pull it down to the lymphatic here or say it's already gone the cream one more or if you massage upwards Eight. You can pull it up like that, and here, and up. So. Make a circular motion here because this is your marmer point. So we're going like eight then a swirl then go up here if you go you already massaging again your marble points without knowing it and then you pull up swirl and like this on the other side For the nose, unfortunately, when you do the, your massage for yourself, there is no other way to massage it. So, we're just gonna do the same and then up and up and up. Now, if you can, you can do lines like this on your forehead and then pull it or either pinch your eyebrows and pull it pull. pinch uh, pull depending so for the ones who have many wrinkles here I don't really kind of force this movement because it's kind of reinforces that same line already so I always work in 90 degrees with that so if there is a line like this I massage like that and so another way around so that would be the first part with the cream and now if you want um we're going to you could take this one down and then put your fancy cream on um to the problematic areas as like um forehead eye area uh, mouth area and then the way i am massaging is you could just use circular motions I'm using the same cream but you get the idea or you can use your thumb and go just like that and really work it in
you see how it feels right what's the difference the pressure it's a different pressure but you really feel this when you receive a massage in such ways and what I do and please do it so if you use your anti wrinkle cream help your cream to work so let's open up the skin, not the skin, uh, the wrinkles. So let's say if you have wrinkles in the forehead, horizontal, you open it up and you hold it. You hold it, let's say 5-10 seconds. And then if you have wrinkles around the eye area, you can open it up just like that. See? The main thing is not to create more lines and then you hold it. So you let your cream work, work in opening up the wrinkles. If you have wrinkle in this area, again you can open it up like that, or even you can do the two if you are clever enough, like this and like this. Five ten seconds, and then you gently, gently release. You not just like yank your hands off. Also with the eye area. If you were to pull, close your eyes. Well, hopefully you're gonna be closing your eyes anyway. That gives like a stretch already, and that's like a part of the face yoga actually. But it's really helpful. So that would be it then. Um, after this, you can push down your cream. I mean the excess when you feel it's all dried but you know you want to wash it off anyway the excess you wash it off and you could put on a mask now of your choice it could be anything but you use you know to tighten the skin and that would be the first part and the second part is gonna be with the crystals I'm not going to do the same routine I'm just gonna join in because usually I'm using the crystals um, when uh, after I done the water-based cream massage I I hope you appreciate that when I'm massaging someone else there are different techniques and there are more ways to do this but as I said 